Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 5.4 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is the op M in the circuit in figure P5.4 is ideal and we are asked to calculate V0 with various VA and VB. Okay, maybe first thing first, we need to find out the relationship between V0, VA, and VB. Okay, and because this is an op M, the voltage here and here will be the same. Okay, maybe let's name this Vx. And because this is, maybe let's name this Vy. Okay, and at our first node, Vx is equal to Vy. Vx is equal to Vy. Okay, and we are we need to use KCL. So let's assume the direction of the current. So this is going there, and this node here is Va from the ground. So let's name that as Va. And here that is Vb from the ground. Let's name that Vb. And the current is goes there, and that goes into the op amp will be zero so the current that goes into the op amp will be zero and this current here let's name let's assume it's going to the right and the current here let's assume it goes down okay maybe let's do kcl at vx that we need to do first kcl at vx kcl at vx Remember that KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay. And the current that goes in, we will have Va minus Vx divided by 5. Okay. And that will equal to, this will be 0. And plus, we will have Vx minus this is v0 right this is v0 so we have vx minus v0 divided by 40. okay to get rid of the denominator i will have to multiply both sides by 40. okay and this will cancel into 8 so we will have 8 va 8 va minus 8 vx and that will equal to this 40 will cancel each other so we'll have vx and then minus v0 okay maybe let's isolate v0 to the left hand side so we'll have v0 is equal to 9 vx eight, 9 vx then minus 8 va Okay, maybe let's set this as equation number one. And now let's do another KCL, but this time at Vy. Okay, KCL at Vy. KCL at Vy. Again, the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, that goes in, that will be Vb minus Vy. Vb minus Vy divided by 2. And that will equal to the current that goes into the op M, And that will be exactly 0. Right? We can multiply both sides by 2. So we will have Vb minus Vy is equal to 0 and so Vy is equal to Vb. Vy is equal to Vb and remember that Vx and Vy is the same so Vx is equal to Vy and that will equal to Vb. So we can substitute to equation number 1. Substitute to equation 1 so we will have v0 is equal to 9 vb right 9 vb minus 8 va 
Okay, so this is the important equation for this problem. And now let's dive in into answering question A through F. Okay, maybe let's clean up the slide first. Okay, now we have P0 is equal to 9 VB minus 8 VA. Now let's calculate the point A. Okay, calculate P0. Okay, P0 is equal to 9 VB. What is VB? VB is 0. So I have 9 multiplied by 0. Then minus 8 VA. This is 8 multiplied by 1.5. So we will have P0 is equal to... Okay, that will be minus 12, right? Minus 12. Four. Okay, and because that is still in the range of minus 16 to 16, so this is the answer for A. Now, let's do the equation B. We will have P0 is equal to 9 VB. What is VB? VB is 0 here. And then minus 8. VA. VA is minus 0 0.5. So I have minus 0 0.5. And we will have P0 is equal to, this is 0 and this is 4. So we'll have 4, 4. And it is still inside the range of minus 16 and 16. So this is the answer. Now let's move on to question C. P0 is equal to 9 VB, what is VB? VB is 2.5. F2.5 minus 8 VA, 8 multiplied by. Okay, I'm bad at calculating. Maybe let's use calculator for that. So I'll have 9 multiplied by 2.5 minus 8 multiplied by 1. Okay, so we'll have. 14.5 volt and that is still in the range of minus 16 and 16 so so this is the answer let's do another problem v0 is equal to 9 multiplied by vb vb is 1 and then minus 8 pa pa is 2.5 so we'll have 2.5 okay we will have 9 multiplied by 1 minus 8 multiplied by 2.5. That will be minus 11. So we'll have P0 is equal to minus 11. Okay, that is for problem D. Okay, now let's clean up the board and move on to problem E and F. Okay, for problem E... We just plug in V0 is equal to 9. What is VB? VB is 0. And then minus 8 VA. VA is 2.5. 2.5. And then what, what we get from there? 9 multiplied by 0. That will be 0. And then 8 multiplied by 2.5. That will be minus 20. So V0 is minus 20 volt. However, minus 20 volt is less than minus 16 volt, the lower limit for the output of the op amp. So therefore, V0 will be following this minimum output. So I'll have minus 16. Okay, that is for the problem E. Okay, and now let's do problem F. Remember that V0 has to be between minus 16 and 16, right? So we will have minus 16 is always between, my, uh, V0 always between minus 16 and 16, okay? Now let's plug in this. So we'll have minus 16 slash then 9 VB minus 8 VA is less than 16, okay? Uh, we are given that VB is 2 volt. Okay, so we'll have minus 16 is less than 9 multiplied by 2. That will be 18. And then minus 8 VA. And then it will be 16. Okay, we can plug, we can add 
18 to the to left hand side and right hand side to all side so we will have here i think we can subtract subtract 18 right so i will have minus 16 minus 18 here and here we will have 18 minus 8 ea minus 18 minus 18 and then we will have 16 minus 18 and we will have minus 34 here okay and 18 and minus 18 will be 0 and so we'll have minus 8 pa here and for that we will have minus 2 right minus 2 and let's divide both sides by 8 by minus 8 so we'll have 34 divided by 8 that will be 4.25 4.25 however because we are dividing by negative number we flip the sign and we will have pa here and we will have this minus 2 divided by minus 8 that will be 0 0.25 right 0 0.25 therefore we will have 0 0.25 is less than pa is less than or equal to 4.25 and this is the range of pa so the amplifier does not saturate and i think that's all for the problem 5.4 see you in the next video bye bye